right. So, let's get to some good news. And granted, this is very narrow good news. This is for good news for trans people who are in North Carolina, West Virginia, and are on state insurance. So, yeah, very specific. But transgender health care must be paid for by state insurance, says an appeals court. Oops. A federal appeals court ruled on Monday that state insurance plans must provide coverage for gender-affirming care in North Carolina and West Virginia. Trans advocates say it's a huge victory, especially since bills restricting the rights of transgender people have been on the rise in state legislatures. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond, Virginia, issued its decision about two cases. One was brought by North Carolina state employee and their dependents who are transgender and were unable to get coverage for gender-affirming care. The other lawsuit came from West Virginians who are transgender and on Medicaid. They could get coverage for some treatments like hormones, but not for surgery. These cases were heard last fall by the Fourth Circuit on Bonk. That is, all the judges on the appeals court heard the argument. In oral arguments, the judges asked about mast mastectomies as an example. Those are covered for patients with breast cancer, but they were not covered by the health insurance plans for transgender patients. I'm sorry, what? Can we make it any more obvious that we just hate trans people? Because what is the damn difference? Except for the reason why a mastectomy is needed. In an 8-6 decision, the majority of the Fourth Circuit decided that these patients were entitled to health insurance coverage for their care. Judge Roger Gregory, writing the majority opinion, called the denial of coverage obviously discriminatory. Because it is. West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey has defended his state's decision not to cover gender-affirming surgeries in Medicaid. Oh, I cannot wait to find out what bullshit reason they came up with. Morrissey responded to the loss in a statement, saying decisions like this one from a court dominated by Obama and, Ob and Biden appointees cannot stand. We'll take this up to the Supreme Court and win. Now, I'm not saying he's wrong. I mean, he's basically, you know, saying to the quiet part out loud, we, we want judges who think like us. So, I mean, what 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 is their reasoning for it? What do they not like about the decision other than we don't like trans people? We don't think trans people should exist. I really wonder what legal basis they are claiming that the judges got it wrong. And it's not just because of who appointed them. Not all people not all judges who are appointed by a certain president rules a certain way. We've had it on the Supreme Court where you think that a judge is going to rule one way because of who appointed them, and it turns out they become a lot more um, reasonable when they get on the court. So, or they lose their fucking minds. Anything can happen. But as for winning on the Supreme Court, Considering the loonies that are on the court, it's entirely possible. But again, they have to at least pretend they have a legal basis. All right. In a statement, North Carolina State Treasurer Dale Falwell cited the ruling unabashed judicial activism. Of course it is, because it's saying things you don't like, like we have to treat trans people like people. 
until they say something in this article that leads me to believe that they have a realistic reason for treating trans people like shit. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say, no, they probably don't. The Fourth Circuit has seven judges appointed by Republican presidents and eight judges appointed by Democratic presidents. Okay, so that would make it an eight to seven ruling. And the judgment was an eight six decision. So almost party lines, someone on the Republican side flipped. Now, either they it's because they just happen to be moderate and not a Looney Tune, or or for their or maybe whoever appointed them just totally messed that one up. Who knows? Like I said, judges don't necessarily have to turn out the way a president expected them to. We're absolutely thrilled that the court ruled that discriminatory treatment just has no place under the law, says Tara Borelli, senior counsel with Lambda Legal, who argued the case for the plaintiff for the plaintiffs. The policies and questions have already changed, Borelli notes. Both state health programs have had to cover transgender health care since lower federal district courts ruled in favor of the patients in 2022, she says. Now that the appeals court has issued its decision, Borelli says it sets an important precedent and other states across the country should pay close attention. I'm still waiting for reasonings as to why the court got it wrong from the bigots. Because until they can do that, and it actually sounds reasonable, they're just that. They're bigots. <clears throat> Lawyers for North Carolina and West Virginia had argued that the coverage denials were based on saving taxpayer money, not bias. Right, uh-huh, because somehow a, a cancer patient having a mastectomy is um, somehow less expensive than a trans person, a, a, a trans man getting a, a mastectomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally believe that. That totally sounds reasonable. What the hell? Borelli noted that an appeal to the Supreme Court will cost more taxpayer dollars. Exactly. They're whining about wanting to save taxpayers money and then proceed to bring up bullshit lawsuits which cost taxpayer money. All because you are so bound and determined to pretend that trans people don't exist and if you don't cover for them that they will somehow go away. And some of them might, just not in the way you probably would, or actually maybe maybe suicide is a way they would want. I wouldn't put it past these dunderheads. The Supreme Court's recent actions on transgender issued, issues are mixed. Earlier this month, the judges allowed Idaho's ban on gender-affirming care for minors to take effect. Oh, goody! So, it's dangerous to be trans and a pregnant woman in Idaho. Cool beans! So, trans men who want to get pregnant are doubly screwed. Nice! But it has declined to hear other cases about tr about transgender students' access. We really need better editors to bathrooms and participation in school sports. Ah, uh, probably because they're scared to death of those. <laughs> I don't know. Court watchers write, read that as a reluctance to step into the fray. Oh wow, I was right. <laughs> they're scared. They don't want to rule because they don't want to have, 
you know, what happened with Dobbs happen again. If they rule in the on the side of bigotry. Yeah. Yep, turns out I was right on that one. Meanwhile, on Friday, the Biden administration issued a regulation strengthening protections against discrimination for transgender patients across the country. That regulation applies to any health care, not just care related to their gender. So a trans person with a broken arm can't be mistreated in the ER, for example. Um, since uh, I most trans people... Uh, pass or are close to passing I could be wrong about that how how are they being mistreated in the ER I you know what I don't really want to know the horror stories because I'm sure if there's a way to mistreat someone people will find a way to do it because humans by and large suck um, you would think that doctors would be above that because, you know, they went to medical school and understand basic biology. And I put that in quotes because trans folks throw that in people's faces as if basic biology is the end all be all to biology, you know, because people who learn advanced biology aren't actually learning anything because what's more to know than basic biology, right? That's not how it works. So, yeah. Anyway. A, a group of Republican-led states have pledged to challenge the rule in court. Of course they have. Because they're the party of bigotry. They used to be the law and order party. They used to be the grand old party. Now they're just bigots, the party of bigotry, which makes it very bizarre when um, minorities of any stripe are Republicans because why are you still part of a party that hates you? That never made any sense to me. And that was before the Republicans completely lost their damn minds. Anyway, that is the end of the article. So, with that, um, I think I've said everything I wanted to in this article. I just, you know, I'm glad that they actually explained why they thought that what they were doing was the correct thing, but as I expected, it's um, bullshit. I didn't expect it to be so transparent. I thought they would at least attempt pretzeling their brains a bit more, but hey, this works better. This is, this makes it more freaking obvious. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.